Today Justin and I are trolling for northerns. Now we have a guest today, Stephen Schroeder, and it's Stephen's first time out trolling and first time on a big boat. So Justin and I are going to head out and we'll see you on the water. We're out here on Big Green Lake in Green Lake County and um, we're going to be pike fishing today. And I'm going to show you a little bit of what we're looking for. These are weeds coming up. They're coming up about 3 feet and 10 feet of water. And uh, the weeds grow out to about 17 feet. We're going to be fishing 20 feet of water just outside that weed line. And as you can see on the GPS here, I've got some really good trails where the weed line ends coming up. So that's what we're going to be following is my, my man-made trails here on the GPS. So we're going to show you a lot of this and some fish marking on the graph, how to look for fish, what depths to look for um, in the midsummer. We're on Big Green Lake again, and uh, we're fishing deep outside weed lines for northern pike. It's late July, water temperature's hot, these fish moved a little deeper. Um, basically, we're going to be doing a slow back troll. We're using a one ounce inline weight uh, with 20 pound mono over top of that and 40 pound fluorocarbon on the bottom for lead line. And uh, what we're doing is we're rigging up big suckers, and I'll show you how we're hooking them. We're, uh, we're uh, just going right through the bottom lip and through the top lip, just a one hook rig because we're going to get into the weeds just a little bit and we don't want uh, trouble hooks hanging up a lot of weeds for us. So the, the technique is to feel the weeds and determine the fish when it starts taking line uh, and not weeds. So, All right, let's wet this sucker. We're over 25 feet of water right now and the fish hit, it hit hard, I felt a really good thumb. Now I'm just giving it a time. We're gonna let it. We're gonna let it eat the. We're gonna let it eat the sucker. I got the net when you're ready. Okay. I say it's about a 20 count. You can see it's taking line pretty good right now. It just took a little. Took a little run. Well, Stephen, pay attention. This is gonna be our first hook set. This is what I want you to do when you set the hook. Okay. You watch me. I'm letting it take line. Let it take line. When you think it's been long enough, like I said, I'll make. Oh, there it goes. Real, real fast. It's taking line real good. There he goes again. I would say this fish has probably got it by now. Should have it turned around and swallowed. So we're gonna shut the bale. We're gonna reel it down tight. You watching this, Steven? Yep. And as soon as you start to feel him again, lifting a little bit. Okay, there he is. I'm gonna set the hook really hard. See that, Steven? We hooked him. Okay, keep it tight. Keep it tight the whole time. So you just keep on reeling. All right, Steven, wanna bring your line in, bud? It's, uh, this fish is headed right for yours. Oh, you're jumping around on the top out there. Look at that, the seagull's trying to take our fish. Alright, you just lift yours up and over the top. Alright, here comes the first fish. Not a big one, it's probably, probably close to being legal. The size limit's 26 inches on green leg, and the size limit's 2 per person. Probably not going to be a good one, but a good one to start with. It's going to take one to get started then. There he is, the first one of the day. They're gonna get a lot bigger as the day goes. Okay, now this is gonna be the tough part. Nope, you just, you just take this one here, and you turn it forward. And be ready to jerk because you gotta jerk really hard. Ready? No! Oh, all right, jerk, now reel him in, you got him. You just keep him, keep him tight now. Okay, we'll take the net. You see how hard we jerk? That's what you gotta do. Now, the trick is to keep your rod tip up in the air. Point that you put that right in your hip. There you go. Keep them on. You got them. Pretty good for your first one. He's coming in. That's All nice right. Bank. That's a nice one. Look at that. Oh, oh there he goes down. Hang on tight. <laughs> You'll pull that rod right out of your hand. Now, this is the tricky part. Keep the rod up. Okay, you can stop reeling now. Just bring him in slow. All right, we got him. Okay, Bob, can I get my tools from you? Oh, he's going crazy. You're lucky he wasn't fighting that hard out there. Pretty nice one. Pretty nice one. Let me pull your pole back a little bit. You really got to be careful with these pike because they're full of teeth. Mm -hmm. And I'll handle the fish. You got my pliers, Bob? I'll handle the fish just so we don't have any accidents. They are really hard to handle. Look at that, look at that, he just 
tortured that minnow. Okay. Another nice big green northern pike. That is a good bite. Yep. We've got another one going here. But good action today. We've only been out for about a half hour and we've had about five bites already. And uh, we caught three, lost a couple. This one just hit it twice. I'm gonna let him take some line. Now he's taking some line. Again, don't rush the bite. Uh, you gotta let him eat that big sucker. We're using bait about five to 10 inches long. So it takes him, it takes him about 20 seconds to get it away from the other fish. They'll take off right away with it and they'll turn it around in their mouth and then they'll try to swallow it. So the further down that hook is, the better off you get. The better chances are to get them to the boat. All right, Steven, are you watching this? This is what you gotta do when you get a bite. Let them take the line. And again, we're back trolling following precise angles on weed lines. You gotta stay just outside them weeds because that's where the fish are suspended. It's 23 to 25 feet of water right now. So, okay, I figured this fish has probably had it long enough. We're gonna just reel down until we feel it. As soon as you feel the weight of that fish, you're gonna set the hook really hard. All right, we got him on. Another good one. After you get them hooked good, you just gotta keep the, tight, keep the tension on the line. Slowly bring them in. Sure seems like a good one. Sure seems like a good one. Oh yeah, that's a dandy. Look at him out there. That's a big pike. I don't know, Justin. It's kind of getting turned into a habit to be netting oh, fish for you goes. every day. He's running, he's <laughs> running drag. Running drag. That's a nice fish here. Nice fish. Yeah, that's a real nice pike, probably in the mid-30s. All right, Bob, if you want to scoop them up with a net. All right, keep them right there in the water and we'll take them off. Nice fish. All right. We're going to need one to demonstrate removing Y-bones. Yeah, this would probably be a good size to eat. Another thing I forgot to mention is the quality of the meat in these fish up in deep water is excellent. Can't get better freshwater fish. All you gotta do is know how to get the Y bone out of pike, and we'll show that up there. When we take one home to clean it. Barely hooked inside the mouth. Alright. Nice pike. Like I said, the size limit's 26 inches. Possession limit's two. The daily bag limit is two. And uh, this is gonna be a good eater. It's probably about 30 inches, 31 inches. And uh, we're gonna take this one home and show you how to take the Y bones out. Uh, the possession limit and size limit is uh, on green, uh, Big Green Lake. So make sure you check your home body of water wherever yeah, you're every, fishing. It varies from from lake to lake. It really does vary from lake to lake in Wisconsin as far as pike. But all fish, really that, from that matter. Oh, there's a good bite, there's a good bite. All right, I'm gonna let him take some line. It hit it pretty good and hard. Hopefully he eats it, hopefully he eats the chub. Like I said earlier, once you get that bite, you just put all put the line free. You want the fish to have no, no tension on it so that they don't feel you and they can just eat that bait. But we're back trolling just along the outside of the weed line here. We're in 20 feet of water, the weeds grow up to about 18 feet. And uh, a lot of action, a lot of action. We catch a lot of pike lake trout, walleyes, all different stuff. So we're just going to give it a little time. And I find back trolling is a little bit more precise on weed lines than um, trolling with the bow mount. This is a very handy tool. You can just tool right along the outside edges of them weeds. So, All right, let's see if that fish is still here. This is the most exciting part right here, setting the hook. Right, Steven? Yep. You just reel it up until you feel the fish. Might have swam towards us. Oh, there he is. All right, here we go. Got him. All right, he's a good fighter. He is a fighter. Good fighting fish. And here he comes. Here he comes. All right, got him. Keep him right there. A little on the small side, but he was a good fight.
You really got to be careful with these pike. They got a lot of teeth. And they are very sharp. They will cut you open in no time. There's the hook. There's the teeth. We're going to unhook them and let them go. Got little ones today. Okay, here we go. Bye bye. Pretty good action so far, though, Bob, huh? It's been pretty good action all day, and we've switched uh, spots. We're kind of back in the bay, like Justin was talking earlier. But if you notice, also, there's water skiers and boats. It's a high pressure area, and we're still able to catch fish. Boat control is key. You've got to be able to stay on the edge of the weeds and, and in the, the depths where the fish are at. Yeah, that's what makes most people struggle out here, Bob. It's the, the structure is, is, so, is so sharp that it goes up and down. The contours are very steep. And when you're working certain depths, it's hard.